Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Today, unmanned aerial vehicles play a vital role in armed conflicts all over the world. They make it possible to monitor the current operational environment without endangering the lives of the pilots. Unmanned aerial vehicles can be either reconnaissance or attack-based, and they have different ranges and operating times. We think it's no secret that American technologies occupy a leading position among the world's manufacturers. And today, we have a list of the 10 best American UAVs for you. BAT The BAT unmanned aerial vehicle was developed by the American company Northrop Grumman for the United States Air Force, U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, and U.S. Department of National Security needs. It made its first flight on March 14, 2006 in Nevada. The UAV is perfect for real-time reconnaissance in local wars. It is fully autonomous and requires no airstrips. The payload of the BAT is spread out on a special T2 Delta suspension. The payload includes a Kestrel moving target indicator and a shortwave infrared camera. Information from the UAV is transmitted to the ground in real time. Communication with the drone is via a software-defined tactical radio system developed by Northrop Grumman Corporation. The hull of the bat is made mostly of composite materials, equipped with a hearth engine with a five-blade, low-noise propeller located at the rear. With additional tanks on the drone, the flight can be extended up to 25 hours. RQ-20 Puma The RQ-20 Puma light unmanned aerial vehicle was developed by the American company Aerovironment. Its first flight took place in 2007. It is a small reconnaissance aerial vehicle which can be launched just from the hand. It is able to fly under the control of the operator or navigate on its own by using GPS navigation. The flight time of the UAV is more than 9 hours. The Puma can carry four surveillance cameras, including two optical cameras and two infrared cameras. The drone is designed so that it takes only a few minutes to prepare and is launched with a hand throw. The large wingspan and smart design allow this device with the propeller in the nose section to take off even when there is no wind at all. On April 14, the U.S. signed a contract with Aerovironment to supply sets of RQ-20 Puma UAVs to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The cost of the contract was $19.7 million. The contract also included sets of equipment for reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeting, a basic package of replacement parts, logistical support for the contractor, and training for personnel. RQ-21 Blackjack The RQ-21 Blackjack is a small tactical unmanned aerial system developed by in situ to meet the requirements of the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps. The Blackjack can be used for sustained maritime and ground tactical reconnaissance, surveillance, data collection, and target capture. The open architecture allows for rapid reconfiguration of installed optoelectronic equipment the weight of which is limited to 22 pounds, 10 kilograms. The standard payload includes moving day and night surveillance cameras, an infrared pointer, a communication set, and auto recognition system receivers. The UAV is launched using a pneumatic catapult. The engine used allows the RQ-21 to reach a maximum speed of 104 miles per hour, 167 kilometers per hour. The cruising speed is 63 miles per hour, 101 kilometers per hour. The top reaches 3 miles, 6 kilometers. The available fuel supply is sufficient for patrolling for up to 16 hours. In April 2014, the U.S. began operating the RQ-21 in Afghanistan. Blackjack drones were used for reconnaissance and detection of enemy targets. It was reported that during 119 days of operation in Afghanistan, the total flight time of the UAVs was 1,000 hours. MQ-1 Predator 
The MQ-1 Predator is the unmanned aerial vehicle that changed the world. It is a battle-hardened, unmanned combat aerial vehicle that has proven its mettle in combat. The high-end UAV operated by a crew on the ground is capable of dropping bombs, conducting aerial photography and reconnaissance, and performing other support functions. Predators have been in service with the U.S. Air Force since 1995 and have played a crucial role during military conflicts in Bosnia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Syria, Iran, Somalia, the Philippines, and Libya, while supporting NATO and the UN in their operations. This drone is powered by a four-cylinder Rotax 914 engine with 101 horsepower. The engine rotates a rear-mounted twin-bladed propeller. This UAV reaches a top speed of up to 135 miles per hour, 217 kilometers per hour, and can reach an altitude of 4 miles, 7.6 kilometers. The Predator can hold a payload of up to 449 pounds, 204 kilograms. This drone can stay up in the air with a full load for 24 hours for aerial surveillance and aerial support. Maximum endurance without a payload is up to 40 hours. Several missiles are compatible with the MQ-1, including the AGM-114 Hellfire and AGM-176 Griffin air-to-ground missiles. The missiles are mounted on two mounting points under the wings. The Predator uses an onboard computer and a laser to guide the missiles to their target. MQ-1C Gray Eagle The MQ-1C Gray Eagle is an extended-range multi-purpose tactical UAV developed for the U.S. Army based on the MQ-1 Predator. The UAV made its first flight in October 2004, and since 2009, the system has been used in Afghanistan and Iraq. The new MQ-1C was officially named Gray Eagle in August 2010. The Grey Eagle differs from the Predator with a longer wingspan and an engine optimized to operate at higher altitudes. This UAV has a flight time of 36 hours at altitudes of up to 25,000 feet 7, meters, and has a combat radius of 230 miles 370 kilometers. The Grey Eagle's Nero jamming system is capable of selectively jamming enemy radars and communication systems without jamming or blinding the avionics of their own forces. The UAV's armament is up to 800 pounds, 363 kilograms, including four AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground guided missiles and GBU-44N Viper Strike guided aerial bombs on four underwing pylons. The Ukrainian armed forces have requested the U.S. to provide them with MQ-1C Gray Eagle drones, but so far the Biden administration has not approved the request because of the need to train Ukrainian military in UAV handling. But it is possible that the transfer of these UAVs to Ukraine will take place soon. MQ-9 Reaper The MQ-9 Reaper is a modular reconnaissance and attack UAV developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, a division of General Dynamics Corporation, for use in the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, and British Air Force. The first flight took place on February 2, 2001. The drone is based on the MQ-1 Predator, so it is sometimes called the Predator B. It is indeed a powerful UAV. The MQ-9 has a wingspan of about 65 feet, 20 meters. It weighs about 11,000 pounds, 5 tons, fully loaded with fuel and weapons. The Reaper flies at a speed of over 230 miles per hour, 480 kilometers per hour. Its operating range is almost 1,242 miles, 2,000 kilometers, for the basic edition, and 1,554 miles, 2,500 kilometers, for the extended range edition. The maximum flight altitude is up to 50,500 feet, 15,400 meters. The maximum flight time is 27 hours. The drone has six external suspension points with a payload of up to 3,000 pounds, 1,361 kilograms. It can carry up to four air-to-ground missiles or eight in the MQ-9A modification. 
The other option is four Hellfire missiles and two Mark 82 laser-guided bombs. One of the features of the UAV is an onboard computer with artificial intelligence which promises to autonomously find, track, and suggest targets to operators. RQ-4 Global Hawk If you open any flight tracking service, then near Ukraine, you can daily see a drone with the call sign Forte, which patrols for 18 to 20 hours making figure 8 circles. It is the most powerful reconnaissance UAV in the world, the American RQ-4 Global Hawk, that works at an altitude of over 9 miles, 15 kilometers, not hiding at all. Its development cost $14 billion. In 1998, mass production of the RQ-4 was launched. And it should be clear at once the real size of the Global Hawk, which has a wingspan of 131 feet, 40 meters. For comparison, the passenger Boeing 737 has a wingspan of 112 feet, 34 meters. That is, the RQ-4 is not a small bird, with a maximum time in the air of over 34 hours. It has a range of 14,105 miles, 22,700 kilometers. Also, for this vehicle, there is no concept of range of control. It transmits data through a satellite channel of 50 megabits per second, which allows you to get information from it online from anywhere in the world. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is able to listen to be more accurate in radio reconnaissance when not only recording and intercepting radio emissions of the enemy, but also setting the exact coordinates of the radiation. This makes it possible to localize headquarters, communication centers, command posts, reveal air defense positions, etc. The range of operation of such a system is actually more than half a thousand kilometers. MQ-4C Triton The MQ-4C Triton is a U.S. Navy long-range and high-altitude reconnaissance UAV. Developed under the BAMS program, the vehicle is intended to provide real-time reconnaissance information on the vast ocean and coastal areas, conduct sustained surface surveillance, perform search and rescue missions, and support the capabilities of the Boeing P-8 Poseidon anti-submarine aircraft. The MQ-4C is a Northrop Grumman development based on the RQ-4 Global Hawk with major modifications, including reinforced airframe structures, de-icing system, and lightning strike protection. This is supposed to allow the UAV to lower through cloud layers, if necessary, to observe water surface targets more closely. The UAV's information gathering systems can provide information about the type, location, speed, and direction of ships. The MQ-4C drone can reach an altitude of up to 13 miles, 20 kilometers, fly at 357 miles per hour, 575 kilometers per hour, and stay in the air for about 30 hours. The U.S. Navy is planning to put 68 MQ-4C UAVs into service. RQ-180 The RQ-180 is a reconnaissance UAV developed by the American company Northrop Grumman under the Joint Unmanned Combat Air Systems Project. It made its first flight in 2013 on the territory of Zone 51, a U.S. military airfield in Nevada. It was put into service in 2019. The UAV can patrol for 24 hours at altitudes up to 59,000 feet, 18,000 meters. The RQ-180 represents a new generation of drones designed to operate in the conditions of countering the enemy with an advanced air defense system and the Air Force. The main purpose of RQ-180 is air reconnaissance using a complex of modern equipment, which includes active and passive reconnaissance systems. It might be equipped for electronic warfare as well. The RQ-180 is a completely secret project, the same as all the other stealth, 
including the older models represented by the B-2 and F-117. Yet, occasionally there is information about its flights in one place or another. MQ-25 Stingray the MQ-25 Stingray is a military unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the U.S. Boeing Company. The UAV is a promising military drone with the main purpose of performing refueling of military aircraft in flight. It is assumed that after the adoption of MQ-25A in the aircraft carrier air groups, we'll have to release FA-18EF Super Hornet deck fighters from the task of refueling other combat aircraft in the air. In doing so, the units would be able to carry more fuel than fighters in suspended fuel tanks. The power of the MQ-25 tanker drone is represented by one Rolls-Royce turbofan engine, which is capable of accelerating the vehicle to a maximum flight speed of 385 miles per hour, 620 kilometers per hour. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray can operate both on ground airfields and on the decks of ships, which is facilitated by the smart design of this air vehicle. However, its flight range is limited to 2,485 miles 4, kilometers. but considering that the aircraft can carry up to 15,000 pounds 6, kilograms of fuel, this is not a significant problem. That's all friends, thanks for watching, write in the comments which of the unmanned aerial vehicles you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.